Welcome to the session where we are going to interview Professor Kim Wan. Now, Professor Kim Wan is a full professor at the Asian Institute of Technology in the Environmental Engineering and Management field of study. Her expertise is primarily centered around air quality management. So, uh, welcome, Professor Kim. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me here. All right. Uh, now, Professor Kim, I have a couple of questions for you today. The first question is related to uh, the co-benefits of reducing the GHG emissions. Mm -hmm. Now, understandably, as we know, uh, reducing these emissions, you know, would go a long way in combating the effects of climate change. But what are the other benefits of mm -hmm. reducing these emissions, especially in the urban context? Thank you. It is exciting to talk about co-benefit right. and interaction between air pollution and climate change. Mm -hmm. So we know that air pollutants and greenhouse gas uh, actually emitted from almost the same source, right. which is major source, it's fuel combustion. True. So we burn fuel in power plant, in industry, in vacuum engine, and cooking at home, for example. So if we can burn fuel better, more complete, and we can convert more useful men, more energy in the fuel mm -hmm. to the useful energy, right. then we can burn less fuel mm -hmm. and then at then we can achieve say both reduction of air pollution and reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. emissions true. So on the other hand you know that some pollutants so they are named short lived climate pollutants. Mm -hmm. They are toxic pollutants, right. and at the same time, they have the climate impacts. True. So, for example, the black carbon. Mm -hmm. So, black carbon are uh, we normally call soot particles. True. Okay. So they are teeny tiny particles. So that's why they can get deep into our lungs, oh, and they carry with them also other toxic substances. So, the black carbon emission reduction will surely bring in the health benefits. Mm. And black carbon are black. That's True. why they absorb solar radiation. radiation yes. So they cause warming. Right. So that also, if we reduce black carbon emission, we also have climate benefits. Mm. Another short-lived climate pollutants we normally talk about is tropospheric ozone. Right. This is the ozone pollution right. present near the Earth's surface. Mm. Okay, so also the same ozone, but effect is not the same ozone as in ozone layer. Yeah, yeah, right. So this ozone is toxic, the human health. Right. It is green, str strong greenhouse gas, okay, we know, and it is phytotoxic, mm -hmm. meaning it can cause toxic effect right. to plant. Mm -hmm. So that's why it would have effect on crops right. and forest growth. So you know, and Dublin. MO, which is World Meteorological Organization, released an assessment report back in 2011 yes. that showed that if we implement measures to reduce black carbon, mm -hmm. say, for example, uh, clean the stove, stock, mm -hmm. okay, clean the vacuum, fuel mm -hmm. technology, and if we also implement measures for methane emission reduction, which is greenhouse gas, and at the same time, it precursor for ozone formation in the atmosphere. Okay. So, such as we recover methane from landfill, mm -hmm. and we recover methane from oil and gas extraction. Mm -hmm. So, if those measures are implemented, right. so then substantial core benefit would right. be resented. Mm -hmm. First, in terms of temperature increase, we could avoid um, say up to 0 0.5 degrees mm -hmm. and that is for estimated in uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. okay. In terms of human health, so we can avoid 2.7 million deaths mm -hmm. worldwide every year and that is estimated uh, up to 2030. Okay. In terms of food security, we can avoid it crop in loss by 50 million tons. Mm -hmm. So this is of course shows substantial benefit mm -hmm. and uh, more benefit actually be seen in Asia mm -hmm. where we have more emission right. and we have highly populated urban areas. Right, right. Okay, so these are very impressive statistics. 
Uh, now I want to shift the focus of our discussion you know, mm -hmm. from, from the technical aspects to a little more towards the governance aspect mm -hmm. okay, and introduce the, the policy component. Mm -hmm. So uh, now what do you think in your opinion, you know, what are the implications of including the air quality co-benefits, mm -hmm. mainstreaming this into the policy, you know, in terms of the benefits, in terms of the barriers and if you can even provide some success stories or examples, that would be great. Okay, so we talk about integration between right. air pollution or air quality management yes. policy and climate, climate policies. policies. Yes. yes, it is challenging to talk about that. Mm. So, uh, it is also a very important issue. So, if we can see that co-benefit is substantial, like right. that. so it surely would be driving force mm -hmm. for the country to go to work to implementing the policy to reduce air pollution, right? right? And then at the same time we also achieve say mitigation of climate change. So at present mm -hmm. so we many countries have already say policy mm -hmm. law regulation for climate change. Mm -hmm. So started in Asia we talk about China, China. India, yeah. Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, they have national strategic plan okay. for climate change. But then, uh, many in many countries, or not to say in most of the country, mm -hmm. so those policy, climate policy, are handled by different office, different mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. than the air quality policy. Oh, okay. So, at the same time, air quality, uh, air quality management policy in Asian country, uh, kind of more mature. Okay. Mature. So climate policy is less mature. Right. So we only have set like of standards, emission standard, ambient mm -hmm. air quality standard. Uh, country have roadmap uh, okay. to work, to get cleaner fuel, okay, right. cleaner vehicle technology. So we have also measures to reduce emission from industry, power plants. So if we can integrate the policy, mm -hmm. climate policy into the uh, and, and air quality right. and policy mm -hmm. integrate and then considering common benefit mm -hmm. that we would make things happen faster. Okay. Okay. Take for example, we have say uh, climate and clean air collision mm -hmm. or short for CCAC. Mm -hmm. okay. That initiative launched in 2012 mm -hmm. and aimed to translate the science into policy and action. Oh, okay. okay. So CCAC has uh, around 40 country partners okay. and five uh, from Asia mm -hmm. and among them Bangladesh and Japan mm -hmm. are the founding members. Okay. Okay. And CCAC also have more than 50 non-state partners we say okay. and 80 is one of them. Oh, okay. okay. So along with like UNEP, IPCC, mm -hmm. WHO, UNDP. Okay. So the CCAC actually aim at reducing short lived climate pollutants. Mm -hmm. And that is done actually uh, regularly. They have activity like the high concentration, high level concentration meeting that okay. happened in Asia. Okay? Oh, okay. In 2013 and 2014, that in September, you know, then. And the country also actually moving toward taking action to short, reduce short lived climate pollution. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, in Bangladesh, okay, mm -hmm. this year, early this year, the government gave a strong order for the Brickin owners mm -hmm. to convert to clean technology. Mm -hmm. This is because Brickins uh, have very high pollution contribution mm -hmm. in Bangladesh mm -hmm. and it annually produces around, say, 20 billion bricks. Okay. And then Four thousand of kids actually using own technology and mm -hmm. very highly polluting. It's good to see that modernization is going on and then it is on track. Okay. So other country also the roadmaps for cleaner fuel, cleaner vehicles. So the measure uh, being implemented, like in Thailand, they helped on the policy to reduce, mm -hmm. so uh, eliminate even so urban burning of crop residue. So yes. those if realized would bring in co-benefit yes. because the short-lived climate pollutants yes. would be reduced, uh, less pollution, less climate change impact. Yes. 
So this is a win-win approach. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Kim, for this very insightful interview. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank yes. you very much.